In the spring of 1871, as the steamer ferry tug Frank C. Farrow passed through the day-old canal cut through Duluth's Minnesota Point, the course of the St. Louis River literally changed forever. Activity was brisk as the city's natural shoreline gave way to docks and development. The harbor welcomed boats carrying cargo to both U.S. coasts. Rail and shipping industries, and the workers needed to support them, drove Duluth's village population of 3,000 in 1870 to nearly 100,000 by 1900. But at what cost? Did early entrepreneurs and leaders also envision the toll their frenzied activities would take on the St. Louis River? the river that flowed through the harbor and out into Lake Superior? It was perfectly legal to dump industrial wastes and sewage directly into the river. At the time, no one imagined the hundreds of millions of dollars their descendants would need to clean up the resulting 100 years of contamination above and below the river's waterline. By the 1940s, the State Board of Health pronounced the Lower St. Louis, quote, pollutional. Beaches along the bay closed due to high bacterial counts. Tainted fish complaints and fish kills were common between the 1940s and 1970s. To tackle these cleanup problems today, a new generation of visionaries needed to work together at an equally frenzied pace to undo past practices that damaged the river so badly it was named as one of the most contaminated estuaries in the country. Minnesota politicians began supporting the river's recovery. In Washington, D.C., Congressman Jim Oberstar helped write the Federal Clean Water Act. In Minnesota, State Representative Willard Munger wrote policies that ultimately created the Western Lake Superior Sanitary District. To date, tens of millions of dollars have been invested in cleanup projects in the St. Louis River and active shipping harbor. Many more millions are needed to help restore the river's water quality and aquatic habitats. Duluth has always been known for its connection with Lake Superior. Now, with all of the progress being made throughout the estuary, Duluth will become known as a river city too. The village men who dug that canal in 1871 would be proud their work turned out so well. <laughs>